G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick and today we are going to look at uh, how to do this effect. That is probably one of the most requested tutorials on the channel right now. I honestly get asked this pretty much every other day is how to do this or how to do that. And it's 2021, thought I might do an update just for the sake of doing an update. Maybe some things have changed. It has changed a little bit since the last tutorial that I did this, which is probably like, I don't know, six or seven years ago. But anyway, let's dive right into it and get started. But before we get started, I wanted to introduce to you this new product we just created called the Lyric Video Creator Kit. It has 20 customizable animated lyric templates that you can easily drag and drop into your Premiere timeline with lots of options to customize your text, including colors, textures, and glows. Not only that, we're including 10 overlay video elements to really make your videos pop. Plus, we've added a Premiere Starter project with five different videos to help jumpstart your lyric videos. So what are you waiting for? Grab your Lyric Video Creator Kit today and start making those sweet, sweet Lyric videos. This has been just a requested tutorial. I have done this tutorial a couple of times in previous videos, but this is sort of like a comprehensive look at all the bits and pieces you need to kind of make this kind of animation happen, which is the classic numbers counting up from zero, but also being able to add the uh, decimal, uh, you know, to be able to add the uh, dollar sign and also words at the beginning and at the end. Uh, it's really straightforward. The code is right here if you wanna just sort of rip it off, but I'll put it in the first comment in the description to show you basically how to do it. It's uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to explain to you how the code works because I actually don't really know how it works. I just know that it does work as much part smarter people than me have figured this out. But I can explain some of the parameters that you can change to basically get to where you need to be. Now, we will go into some other ex uh, examples as well where we're going to try and also do decimal points as well. Um, I know some people have requested this and it's sort of a very similar to solution to what we had before. Um, it's just that we're going to uh, just muck around the code just a little bit to get it to work. Now, the first thing you need to know is that you need to be able to uh, create a, uh, you need to use a point controller to do everything. So what we're going to do now is just create a new comp and uh, we'll just call this counting up. And that's great. Now we're just going to create a new text object. Now it doesn't really matter what number you type in there, but just, just for the sake of things, we'll just put the number in there. So you can just sort of size it to however you like. I made it uh, centered, aligned, and sort of in the middle. And you can use that trick that I've showed you in multiple videos where you just sort of center it as it is. Now, what I'm going to do is also add a point controller. So now you might be wondering, why don't we use a slider? And I've had an, an issue with the slider in that it only goes up to a million. I'll just quickly show you. Slider controller. Now, if you want to go up to a million with the slider controller, I'll just see, show you why this doesn't really work that well. Hey, what happened to my slider control? Here we go. So as you can see here, the number goes from zero. And if I want to go say, say I wanted to make a 2 million and ideally I would love it to go to 2 million, but two, three, but as you can see here, the number stops at like 1 million. So we can't use that. And that's the reason why I don't use the slide control. Otherwise I totally would. So instead what we're going to use is the point controller point controller it would help if I can actually spell point control. Um, so we'll just drag that on here. And what's great is that this number, we're going to use the first coordinate here, but this number is basically infinite. We can go up as big or as small as we want. Trust me on that. I've, I've tried this with a lot of different things and that definitely works. Now, what we're going to do is going to press E and then we're going to bring out the point control. And sorry, maybe we should do this. So what we're going to do is twirl down and go to text and bring up so we can see the source text here. And also make sure that we have the effects twirled down and we can see this stopwatch on the point controller. And what we're going to do now is go to the comment section and cut and paste this particular code. Now, as you can see here, this is the code that you're going to put uh, into the point control expression. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to explain this really briefly. So this is just this is just a variable s and that equals to a uh, you can't see here, but there's it just equals a parentheses here. There's supposed to be a character in there if you wanted to. You can put one in there, which is really nice. Um, and it's just math dot round effect. Uh, and then they just math dot round basically makes sure makes sure that that is a round number. So whole numbers always come up because if you don't have math dot round, you run into the issue of um, decimal points that are counting up. And I'll show you what that means in a second. And then we go effect point control, which is just pointing to the effect. And we'll show that 
Uh, and that's just looking at the first coordinate. And then this is a whole bunch of uh, this this fantastic part of the code, which is the miracle part of the code here, is what puts in the commas for you. Alternatively, if you don't want those commas in there and you want to just have it just as a, a straight number that comes out of that, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just do two forward slashes to get rid of that last part of the code and that'll get it rid of the commas for you. But, you know, I don't know any people who like that effect, but you can do that if you like. It's pretty much that simple. All right, so what we're gonna do now is go to the source text and we're gonna alt click on the source text and just click alt. And then this source text box will come up and you can see this waiting for you to import some text. So you can just type whatever you want in here. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna type in, we're gonna paste the code that we just got and voila. Now what's happening here is it's taking the first coordinate here of the point control. Notice if I change the second one, nothing changes. But if I change the first coordinate, it does start to change. So we're going to set the first coordinate to zero and we're going to put a keyframe here and click on that stopwatch. And now we're going to go over here and we're going to click it up to, let's say a million. So one and zero, 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 zero. And there we go. We get to one million. Now, as I said before, if you use the slider control, it only goes up to a million and that is unfortunate. And what's great about this is that you can change it to two million, which is even greater. So that is fantastic in that regard. So that's pretty much in a nutshell. If that's all you came here for, that's great. Now, some people have been asking me, I want to add a dollar sign to the front of this. Well, thankfully this formula kind of add, lets you do that. So what we can do is we can just press, we can go here into the formula. As you can see here, there are two quotation marks. All you do is put whatever you want in the between those quotation marks. So let's put a dollar sign. And now we've got the dollar sign coming up as well, which is also great. Now you can make that whatever you like. You can make that, an, a, a hashtag sign talking about the number of, um, you know, mem uh, what do you call subscribers you have, or, you know, we can even put something like sub count, which is also kind of, you know, well, you might want to put them, make sure there's a space as well, but yeah, sub count, which is kind of dope. So you get the idea. And what's also great about this is that, all right, can we delete that one as well? You can leave that as it is, or, and you can also come to the end here and we can add an extra expression as well. So you go plus, and then we can put two quotation marks in here. Now, what's great about this is you can add stuff at the end as well. It's pretty much as easy as that. And so let's put bucks. So, you know, 200 million, 200, 2 million bucks. I can't count, but 2 million bucks is also kind of cool. Um, yeah, you get the idea. So that's, that's basically what it is. Pretty straightforward. Now, you're probably asking yourself, Nick, 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 I really, really want to be able to add decimals to these uh, numbers counting up, but it's not really doing it for me. How do I do that? Well, so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this layer and we're just going to turn it on. And now we're going to press EE -E to bring up the expression. So here we go. Now, what you can see in here is we're going to get rid of the word math.round because that actually gives us whole integers. And that's kind of, it's kind of great if you just want to get whole numbers, but we want to add decimals. So we're going to turn that off. Now, I'm going to show you what that math.round function did do is actually gave us, as you can see here with the decimals after it, that's why we don't want that because if you see the numbers counting up without the math.round, it actually kind of gives you all these horrible integers in, uh, these horrible decimal points in between, which is, very ugly, I mean, unless you want that, but it's kind of not what we want. So what we're gonna to do to fix that issue and to make it force it to two decimal places is to go to fixed and with a capital F and type the number two. And that's basically it. And so as you can see here, which is stuck at two decimal places. And um, that is pretty much all it is. Now what's great about this is you can basically, uh, now just say it's 99. So we go to, let's just make this a bit shorter so we can see the numbers counting up. So as you can see, it goes to 99, which is fantastic. But what if we want to make it 99.99? Well, that's very easy. Of course, you just type in dot nine nine, which is great. And of course you can modify that code as well. Oops, I think I just should have written the keyframe there. Um, we can also modify the code, press EE again, and we can actually add a percentage sign at the end um, and with the quotation marks and just type in percentage. And there you go, we've basically got our numbers coming out from zero, which is pretty great. That's pretty much as easy as it is. Um, and obviously remember, you can obviously change the font very easily. So, uh, oops, alpha dos, that's what I wanted, uh, to pretty much whatever you want. And that's how flexible this thing is, which is really, really fun. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. All right, so now that we've set that up, we want to basically use that all the time now. We don't want to have to keep typing in this formula. Of course, you could always just retype the formula and I have definitely done that a lot of times, but look, it gets tedious. Maybe you just want to like, 
you know, use it as an effect where you can totally do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this, uh, the source text and also the point control. And we're going to go to animation and go save preset animation preset. And so if you navigate to your user presets, you can just save one in there. I've already called it number count and we're just going to save in there. And what's great now is that when you want to uh, basically create this animation preset again just make a new text layer um and then select that and then you have to do is go to effects and uh presets and go number count or whatever you named it and just drag it on and it'll be that now it will d i think it will actually default to the text you picked initially but that's okay it's pretty easy to change obviously just change it to whatever uh you know whatever font you would like instead so but there you go. It's pretty much that easy and everything there is already keyframes already set up on it. So you can change it to whatever you like. Again, with the decimal one, you can do exactly the same thing. I hope that's helped guys. Um, I hope that's answered a lot of your questions. It's not a very difficult thing to do. Once you kind of got it set up, it's really actually very easy to do. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And if you want to help out the channel, I do have this really great product called the Lyric Video Creator Kit. It basically comes with all these presets of essential graphics that you can throw into Premiere and you don't have to do really much animation animation at all. A lot of the animation is already in the essential graphics uh, templates that we've basically put in the product. It's basically there to design and speed up your workflow and it doesn't have to be just for lyric videos. It can just be for like your videos or you just want a little bit of a sparkle to your text animations that you put into your videos or maybe you just you just don't want to do motion graphics at all. Anyway guys I hope that's helped you out. See you next time.